Have you ever thought about the reason why you cave in when you go through difficult life circumstances? It could be because you never really process or reflect upon the years of pain that you went through. And some of us have gotten so good on suppressing our pain that we don't even realize when we're sinking and when we're going through such a horrible season, there is a way that you could experience God's peace and experience a rest during the difficult trials that you are going through. It really takes you just submitting to God all that you have gone through, submitting to Him your problems, your pain, submitting to Him the thing that you're dealing with so that you can find the hope in the Prince of Peace. See, the scripture tells us that Jesus is a Prince of Peace. The scripture tells us also that the peace of God should rule in our hearts. Maybe the reason why you have no peace is because you haven't tapped into the Prince of Peace and you haven't learned how to process what you're facing, you haven't learned to process the pain of what you've been going through with the Prince of Peace. Here's what I want to tell you before I drink my protein shake, because I got to go get some ice to drink it. I want to tell you, whatever it is that you're going through right now, don't process it alone. Don't go through the pain alone. Invite God in it. Invite Jesus in it. Jesus knows what it feels like to go through pain. He experienced pain on earth and got victory over it so that you could have victory over it. He knows what it feels like to be in anguish. He knows what agony feels like. The scripture says that when he was praying, when before he went to the cross, that he was in such agony that he was sweating blood. That's how painful it was for him to bear the weight of the sin that he was about to face on that cross. But he overcame it. And that's the hope for us, that if Jesus overcame, that we could overcome. Don't lose hope. Whatever it is that you're going through right now, you can get through it. It matters who you invite and involve in your painful moments. Invite Jesus into it. I'm about to go get some ice now and drink this. Hope this was encouraging for you.